Okay, Caleb, what are we making this evening? This evening we are making a tomato basil pasta. I don't know. All right. But uh, the first step, you know, if you're if you're living in corporate America, the first step is always peel the stickers off the produce. You know, because the produce always comes with stickers. You know, that lets you know that it's organic actually. And the the bell peppers, they wrap them. Isn't that nice? Oh, they say organically grown. To let you know. Organically grown. Organically grown. And I saw from the uh, paper bags that this is all from Whole Foods. Mm, yes, that's correct. Uh, oh, actually, uh, it's, it's a mix. Yeah, Whole Foods and Sprouts. Um, sprouts is tell, it's, a, it's yeah. portable. It's where you can get all the yeah, food. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to talk about that. So, um, from my experiences, uh, I found that Sprouts is cheaper. Yes. And, um, I need cheaper. and it still has organic produce. Mm -hmm. uh, like for example, the cilantro at Sprouts is fifty cents, but uh, at Whole Foods it's one twenty nine. You know, a bundle. And that's that's a that's a pretty big difference. You know? Yeah. You know, if you're getting four at a time, you know, two dollars as opposed to about five dollars. You know. I don't know. Ah, is that what mm -hmm. these potted plants are over here? Yeah, well, no, these are actually these are basil. Oh, that's basil. basil. Yeah. Okay. Um, sprouts, sprouts, is, sprouts, Whole Foods, and, well actually yeah, they all do, Sprouts, Whole Foods, Central Market, they all sell uh, potted basil, um, and I like that better than the, the plastic wrapped basil, you know. Okay, alright, so what do you have boiling on the, pot, on the, uh, so, so we have, uh, um, <coughs> some water, and it's some seasoned water, actually, seasoned with sea salt, onion powder, and, uh, Cayenne pepper, and I'll give it a little stir. It's, it's already boiling, so we're gonna go ahead and pour. Pour that right here. And I noticed you brought your own um, uh, pots. Is there? Um... Yeah, there's a reason why it's stainless steel. So um, I can't remember the name of the chemical, but there's a certain chemical that's released when Teflon is heated, mm. and it's uh, it's been found to be harmful. Um, and stainless steel and cast iron do not release those to in glass. Nice. But um, so that's why I, got this. I actually got these for Christmas. <laughs> oh, cool. So my, my dad got me like an uh, 11 piece stainless steel set. Nice. It was pretty nice to be able to use it. Yeah. But we're going to go ahead and pour it in. It says to cook for 7 to 9 minutes, and we're using tolerant organic chickpea noodles okay. with the one the only ingredient is organic chickpea flour hey. and that's what you're looking for yes. one ingredient. and and so Caleb you also I know John purchases um, meals from you do, do you consider that a business or do you sell to many people or um, just to friends and family. I guess I would consider it a business. Yeah, it's a starting business, I guess. Um, I guess I can't, for legal purposes, I wouldn't want to call it a business just yet. Okay. But I do not have my food handler's permit. Okay. Um, gotcha. So, but I do so. I, I promote it on social media. So I, I have served several strangers, the people that I've never, you know, people that I've met because of the alkaline uh, lifestyle. Yeah. But um, the majority of people buying are regularly are definitely friends and family, you know? Okay. And you know what? <laughs> I, I, I was just, you made me think of when I was looking for a caterer for John's graduation. I, I didn't ask anybody uh, about a food uh, food permit. <laughs> like, oh, wow, wow. When, did, when did those ever get Like, asked? becoming a play, yeah, don't you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. but... But it's good to know you, you know, are good. Well, I was thinking about, yeah, because one day I don't want anything to happen. And, like, same thing with the tattooing business, you know. I don't want to promote that I tattoos too much oh. if, if I don't have my tattoo license. You got to have a license to make money, you know. It's weird. <laughs> you know? Right. Uh, <laughs> Interesting. Um, and then, so while that's cooking. I know over here I'm kind of mixing up the pasta a little bit. Stir, <laughs> stir occasionally. That's what the box says. Stir occasionally. <laughs> Keep it from uh, sticking there. Yeah, exactly. And you don't want to overcook, man. Watch out! I've cooked, I've overcooked too many pastas, mm -hmm. and those boxes are three ninety nine. You don't want to overcook them. Right. Cause uh, 
this is only what is it even 12 ounces let's see here it is eight ounces oh man <laughs> those are only eight ounces oh man yeah. <laughs> i can't i can't get it to focus but it is eight ounces but yeah i'm gonna turn it turn it down they look they look pretty cooked mm -hmm. john can you ever start rinsing the tomatoes off please yeah for sure man I just run water off them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, use your hand to like just kind of give them a little massage, you know, show the tomatoes some love. Yeah. <laughs> and, and John's using alkaline water. Is that what you would suggest? Um... Uh, yeah, that's, that's actually the spring water, Mountain Valley spring water from Whole Foods. But uh, we, we use these to fill up Congo water too sometimes. Oh, uh, y'all, I have been mis misstating uh, what this is. This is spring water. This is and that's what that's what Sammy recommends, and that's what actually it makes more sense to drink water from a spring, like an actual spring, like flowing water. Mm -hmm. But where we are today is so many things that are polluted. You know, like where you, where in Dallas are you gonna find a clean, flowing river to go fill up your water and take a nice bath? You know what I mean? Right, right. That's you can't find that in the city anymore in today's in today's world. He's massaging and cleaning the tomatoes with the spring water. And these tomatoes are pretty good. Did that? Did you guys have a cutting board? Oh, yeah. We cutting got a big board. one. Cutting board and knife. All right. <laughs> you want, yeah, uh, give, give them the. No, you don't want the little smaller? The, more, yeah, in my yeah. control. Oh, yeah. yeah. Actually. Like <laughs> That's yeah. cool. Yeah, I like the way that one. When I'm cutting small vegetables. I'm going to put this. Uh, how about right over here for now? You you might need to be rinsing these. That's oh yeah, do I need to rinse the peppers? Um, rinse the rinse the basil and the the bell peppers. Yes, please. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, do we need to wash up the pancake? Yeah. Oh, Jay, John, yeah, you might want to take that off. Okay. Take it. Oh wait. That's fine. And what are you saying I should do with this with the fruit? Just leave it out like that, or what should I do? No. Separate a little. So we uh, we have a second tomato. Two, three, four, five, six. Actually, I've already cut two. We're doing a total of eight. Oh, eight tomatoes. Okay, got it. Yeah. All right. Just get a larger, you know, three three consumers. Okay, yeah, three consumers. Um, you use how many boxes eight. of a? Uh, uh, we just we did we did two two boxes. So the way I kind of look at it is two boxes. Uh, one box one box feeds two people. Okay. So we use uh, you know four a little bit a little left over a little extra. All right. Yeah. Two boxes of uh, pasta. Eight tomatoes. Um, we have one, two, three, four, red, two, yellow. All right, you're gonna, uh, after you do the bell peppers, you're going to do the basil. Yeah. Oh, yeah. John is rinsing the bell peppers. Tomatoes are being chopped. And when you do it, you kind of like take Look at that mound of tomatoes. And John is asking him, does he clean one at a time? So John's cleaning one at a time. Dry. Oh, yeah, I noticed you did not even drain them. Sometimes, it, oh yeah, I, yeah, I just kept the water. Yeah, you gotta, especially for like, we're not making the, this put, we're not putting the sauce in it right away. You know, okay. so if we drain it, it'll definitely go dry. Okay, I like that. Yeah, just keep it kind of on the back burner. Mm -hmm. Literally, kind of want to taste. <laughs> Literally on the back burner. Mm -hmm. All right, so you, I have to cut this basil off here. 
Uh, did you rinse it? Rinse it, rinse it. No, 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 so no. rinse it like it's Just on the pull, plate. Pull each. Let me show you how to pick it. Yeah. Let me know. <laughs> the best way I found. No, I the quickest way. Well, we're going to use the whole platter. So, you know, it, it depends. Like, if we're going to use just a little bit, then you would want to pick, like, a flower. Pick a leaf right here and then go somewhere else, you know. Pick another leaf and then go over here and pick one. You know, let's say we only need this much basil for our recipe, you know, as opposed to killing all that right there. Sir. All right, so you're taking, oh. Yeah, because we're going to use the whole plant, you know. Kind of oh. just take everything stem by stem, go to the bottom. Okay. Wow, so flavored. I smell it from over here. Yeah, it's strong. Mm. That's why it's in that section of the list. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Got all those leaves off of there. Let me fast real quick and watch this stuff. Uh, a large portion of this first plant planter full of basil. And rip it off. Rip the leaves off. And he let me see where he put him off. He put him in a strip. Whoa, look at that. Look at all that. Put him in there to rinse. Mm -hmm. Get some more. Some more. Wow. Let's just save that. And to be honest, you can water those again and they'll regenerate themselves. All right. It's an alkaline thing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think Caleb just downed at least that couple of that glass holds is like 12 ounces. And he's on his second 12 ounces. <laughs> that's that spring water life, y'all. That's that spring water life, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I don't know nothing about that. Mm. <sighs> He's nah, refreshed. Yeah, now I can continue. <laughs> 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 We're flipping pancakes all morning. New Year. We put the alcohol down and up the pancakes. Put the alcohol down, put the alkaline up. Yeah, that's what I should have said. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> we, we do it. <laughs> Actually, since we already rinsed everything off, we can just keep it in there and I even put everything on top of it. Okay. You know, that'd be a nice little Instagram picture. <laughs> yeah. So then once we're done with the pancakes, we're gonna use that same uh, thing to cook the tomatoes. We're gonna saute the tomatoes and um, oh and the green onions. We gotta rinse the green onions. I even saved the rubber bands, you know. Because you know they, they charge you for rubber bands at Office Depot. Right? You know, and they give you for free rubber bands with the onions, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah that's, all good. that's old school stuff. Before alkaline. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, <laughs> what are those called? The, um, crouton. Crouton. Yeah. yeah. Can, you, can you pour some of that on, John? Yeah. While I hold it. <laughs> so those stainless steel, you don't even need a mitt to put to handle uh -huh. them, huh? Well, and it, it, it cools it cool down already. Oh, so okay. it, it does get hot, though, for sure. Oh, okay. I 
I always like to rinse with the uh, spring water as opposed to tap water, especially while you're cooking. I, I use tap water to clean because I don't have enough spring water to clean my dishes, you know what I mean? Right, right. But before I use them again, I do rinse everything in spring water before I use it to cook. I got you. Okay, I like that yeah. compromise because, yeah, that... Yeah, it's, you can't afford, you know, enough spring water to clean. Yeah. You know? The struggle is real. Uh -huh. If we were living, you know, if there was a, a river in the backyard, you know, it would be different. <laughs> <laughs> One yes, day, one day. That's that's my goal. So that's that's what I want for myself in the future. Now, um, well, I have to admit, I didn't understand what you mean by living in the backyard. Mm -hmm. Oh no, a river, a river in the backyard. Oh, and I was saying like you know, so we can. As a, I'm trying to avoid tap water, you know, oh, and uh, I don't want to keep rinsing my rinsing my uh, kitchen utensils and stuff in in tap water. I want to use, uh, you know, I'd rather use real water spring flowing water okay yeah so i was like if we had a river in the backyard it'd be different okay gotcha yes that would be nice Tomatoes down. <laughs> I'm so thankful that tomatoes mm. are alkaline. Mm, yeah. Yeah. At least plum tomatoes. Yeah, and plum and uh, grape and cherry. What yeah. plum and grape and cherry? And Basically the small ones. And look at this, y'all. Grape tomatoes. We're we're in line. Oh, great idea, John. I like these. That's a good use for that. Uh. And the cool thing about making a sauce, it doesn't matter how bad you cut this vegetables, it's all going to be blended up anyway. Ah, in the, in the, in the mixture bullet. claim to let me see where they claim to the source it from Ma mined in Utah since 1958 okay unrefined mineral salt yeah Whole Foods <laughs> <laughs> Top Thumb has it too <laughs> hey <laughs> the bulk section I believe this is like 60 cents nice. for all this and if you were to get like a, a jar from Whole Foods it'd be like five dollars right because they're charging you for the jar actually but, yeah. wow the sauce for the pesto, uh, not the pesto, the ba tomato basil pasta. Ooh. So it's just collecting up. 
green onion, tomatoes, and some basil, seasoning. And some seasoning. seasoning. Get basil too, yeah. We're gonna add some. Uh, I like to add basil when I'm blending it, nice. but I just like a little bit when the sauce is is, is brewing. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, whenever I'm blending it together, then I put a lot of live basil, fresh mm. basil. Oh, okay. It makes it taste better fresh. You know? Ah, okay. Yeah, I think the one right there. Yeah. This is beautiful. Yeah, this looks really good. It looks like a, you see that on a brochure or something. No. Yeah. <laughs> Shop here. <laughs> <laughs> Eat here. <laughs> Adding a little bit of red bell pepper taste really good to the sauce too. Yeah. Bell peppers make everything better. I love red bell pepper. It's my favorite. Do you mind if I take the little too? Oh yeah, of course. Just one little. I think I can get the whole thing right there. Oh, thank you. Look at that, y'all. I feel like I'm one. Y'all just eating it straight up? Yeah, straight up. Mm -hmm. I think red might be the sweetest. Uh-huh. That's what I found too. Mm -hmm. You can find that red bell pepper to make you do the dance, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Give you a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. Charge the yolk. It's cool that you can eat as you go because you know manufactured stuff you can't eat it as you go it's not natural it's all processed stuff like um for instance if you're oh uh, that's true yeah if you're making like um um hamburger helper you can't make it you can't eat a little bit of it as you cook it because it's yeah, processed it's like or raw meat and if you're in the process of making like potato chips you know you're not going to eat the I don't know the bat, but, like I don't know the potatoes. <laughs> yeah, the raw potato. You're not gonna eat that, and you're not gonna eat the grease or drink the grease. Yeah, it's not until it's in a final product. But the stuff we're cooking, we can eat as we we go because it's natural. Wow, this smells pretty. I've been eyeing those pastas. I'm not even going to catch it. I've been eyeing them, man. Mm -hmm. Turn that off. Check out the consistency now, Mom. Yeah, the, the, the tomato juice makes a, its own kind of juice. You, know? you, you don't have to add any water. It's starting to wow. turn. The tomato has its own water. Right, you didn't add, add any water, did you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is all eight of the tomatoes? Yeah. Wow. Eight tomatoes, some green onions, some seasonings. That's it. And then we're going to blend that up to make it like a thicker sauce. Okay. That'd be nice. In this new yeah. channel. Oh, yeah. Where is your base for the nutrient? It's over there, plug it in. Check it out. Oh, sorry. You get about half of it? Oh, you're rinsing it. Yeah, I'm rinsing it. Make sure. See how that dish soap and stuff? Probably. We'll probably have enough for two two blends. Can you get that jar drawn out of the uh, out of the jar? 
the up there, right there. The step drawer? Yeah. Oh, I got a bigger one. That, that's the perfect size right there. It'll be good. Oh, okay. Oh, and guess where I got the bigger ones from? From what? the other stuff you've uh, made for us. Uh, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, actually, let's get those. Yeah, that'd be better. Yeah. This is right in there. Yeah. See that right yeah, there? Perfect. Yeah, this is a good. Perfect. Can you rinse that in spring water real quick, John? Make sure you put that water right there. Yeah. yeah. And good. All right. So let's check this out. Yeah, all right. The jar is Yeah, I'll leave it right here. Perfect. So... The setting has a sauce, a sauce setting. Uh, it has like a bzzz, pause, bzzz, pause, kind of automatically beat up. Just watch this. And then you do this. Because, you know, we ate your, we bought your meals that have the pasta, tomato basil pasta, and yeah. I was like, how did it get yellow? And now I see, first thing. Look at that. And what, turn to that yellow. And that's, a, that's the natural See, that's color. a perfect size. Mm. Hey. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that right here. You used to look like that. Reduce, that. reuse, recycle, y'all. Hey. <laughs> What's the what's the message? Produce, reuse, recycle. <laughs> Man, that guac dog sure was tasty. <laughs> Finish the guacamole, dog. What is? If we're out of the kids, can use lettuce wraps. The nice thing about this, you can fill it all the way up, and that's okay. Yeah, I still want to give it some juice. Because oh, okay. that'll be, it, it makes it thicker that way too. energy right now is like rising as people like just like mentally people are like ooh getting excited for midnight you know they're gonna pop by <laughs> so like the collective mind of people are like the energy is rising that's just what I'm thinking yeah. mm -hmm. I have a 
bigger one. It's just not stainless steel. I don't think. No, no, thank you. <laughs> Secret right there. Yes. <laughs> Before we had a strainer, we had this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only if I could hold it right here and levitate it, mm -hmm. go work on something else while the drip every drop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, now, was John supposed to be cutting up those uh, bell peppers? Uh, no, no, I couldn't. Good. Oh, you know, we didn't. Oh, no, that's so good. It's okay. It's okay. We put some of it in the tomato basil. Did I say it right that time? Basil? No. <laughs> okay, so now, go ahead. The fun is the fun part. Ooh, mm. So. Ooh, so. <laughs> Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You know, you don't wanna have some sauce overflow. Right. You gotta do it real nice and slow. Can't have the sauce overflow, man. You gotta do it real nice and slow, man. Real mm -hmm. nice and slow, man. <laughs> Whoa, mm. that pan took the whole second jar full. <laughs> what? There's more juice? I think it's coming from the sauce. Oi! So! But we don't want that juice like to like to soak up. Um, I don't know, and be available for. I don't know. I feel it. I mean, I, I personally, I like it to be more creamy as opposed to liquid. Oh, okay. But yeah, it's, it's done. I mean, it's ready to, to scoop and serve. Yes. Oh, actually, we're not, we're, not we're not done. We're not done. We're not done. We're not done. Seasoning is done. We're not done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got, we got, no, we're going to add some basil. We could chop it up, but I like to just... You know. Yeah, you feel like it's real. It's about ready. That's about ready for sure. Go ahead and set it ready in my hand. Oh. Oh, she hot. No knife in there. <laughs> Wait, should I turn this heater off or keep it on? So we gonna put some more stuff on. Uh, now nah, we're done. Yeah, we're done with that. Actually, the omelets, right? Yeah. yeah. So Actually, keep, turn, keep turning it off. It's not even done. Y'all wanna take a break and eat or what? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not putting some mushrooms on tomato basil. 
Sometimes I, I put, I forgot to do that. I actually bought you oyster mushrooms to do that. I forgot. Hey. Uh, that helps make the sauce thicker. Well, um, when you said make it thicker, were you going to put it into the blender? or? Yeah, with, with the sauce, yeah. I was going to put it, like, you know, I had that, that bowl of uh, onions and tomatoes going. Yeah. Uh, I was going to put the oyster mushrooms in that, too, so um. it could cook with it. Okay. This one's just be looking good on the food. These are if I eat one, it will be a safe. Uh, no, you want to cook it first. Dang, I'm gonna be tripping. You don't normally see these in Walmart. You don't see these in Aldi. You don't see these in. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I have never found oyster mushrooms in a grocery store. So Y'all found these at. Whole Foods, oh. Sprouts, and, and Whole Foods, and Central Market carry. Oh, okay. Central. What are these two creations called? These are the, uh, this is the tomato basil pasta. Mm -hmm. Is it too hot? No, no, I was trying to figure out how to hold it. Alright. And look at this one. Okay. Thank you. 